Oh, wow. Hello again. Um, I was uh, looking here at this. Uh, I was listening to Ava Max video. I like Ava Max. She's uh, a really nice person I know. Uh, but um, I put Ava Max's video after the Keanu Reeves movie trailer thing. And um, I was thinking about Gaia. And Gaia had a couple different YouTube channels. These are scientists that are involved in Gaia and uh, the Donald Trump space uh, part of the military. Um, it's a space. Uh, they were supposed to have a uh, cabinet post uh, for uh, whatever the executive branch was planned to be according to the Dayton Agreement. Um, it was supposed to be something like or become something like uh, the uh, national um, park system. You know, after this, the executive branch, everything in the federal executive branch is supposed to shrink according to the mathematical determinations in the speeches, in the speeches used. It's the JFK inaugural speech. Um, the executive branch is supposed to go to the cities and not the county, but the cities uh, is supposed to be copied and shrink to the cities and then the federal government. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if this is a step in the plan because it's not all clear, but um, I was listening to the to the Ava Max video, uh, and the thought came to my mind of these exoplanets uh, that are that have uh, alien um, we want to call them pathogens, we want to call them viruses. But uh, they're alien organisms that exist on exoplanets. And if they are uh, harmful to a human being, it's not something that's meant to be there. A human being would be alien on that planet. Uh, and it could be a virus. It could be some kind of organism. Uh, whatever, but uh, I was looking at this and I saw during the Donald Trump presidency uh, the credibility of these scientists' YouTube channels were um, the truth is impeccable, right? Okay, and during the last few weeks or months, these videos have become much more uh, outrageous, outrageous, that's the wrong word, fantastic, wrong word, um, they've been, they become much more unbelievable as uh, the Department of Defense uh, or the CIA, or possibly foreign countries, the United Nations, whoever, uh, are trying to discredit, and discredit is the word we're using, but it's supposed to be um, a much more definite term as to where we understand 
uh, the political involvements uh, regarding uh, credibility. And these are scientists involved in GIA, and they're talking about 670 trillion stars suddenly disappearing, um, planets that look like eyeballs, uh, and completely outrageous uh, surmisings regarding other planets. And it just becomes a situation where you dismiss the YouTube channel because it's so outrageous and so unbelievable that uh, the spectacle you observe become someone with a deceitful credibility and not someone who is an educated scientist trying to uh, explain their points of view or the facts involving a situation. Uh, and it's all just political... Uh, what should I say, Stalinism? Um, what should I call that? What should, what should I say that is? Because there are people, especially myself, who are looking at these things, trying to have scientific uh, conversations using a system that isn't one like the history. I had to say that word first, but it was, it isn't what, it isn't a system that the United States government has a history of using and manipulating like television networks, television, TV stations, and uh, the like newspapers uh, government, um, NASA, organizations like that. Uh, it's, it's, it's just the, the scientists who are becoming the victims of the political, uh, deceitful uh, people who only want to ensure their dictatorship, their superiority, their... Uh, gorging on um, other people's hard work and uh, only for their own pockets, their money, their achievements. It's not an achievement. It's an achievement. But I just really, it's really, uh, it's an incredible situation where uh, this is just, I don't know. And, you know, I, I've tried for years and years to get involved at NASA. I have a friend of my brother. He was in the band. He was in his band uh, in high school. They had a band called the Flesh Wounds. But his name was, I forget his name, but he worked at NASA. He got a job at NASA and he worked on the space shuttle somehow over there. And I never got to know him. I never got to be close friends with him because of my involvement with these political people who won't go away. They won't leave me alone. They won't, you know, they're fantastic, incredible liars living a fantasy life of evil, deceit, and usury, and they won't leave me alone. They just get in the way and turn my life and my chances 
of doing whatever it is I want to do as a free person in this situation. They just jump in front of everybody and say they have the rights they do. And all of the police, all of the courts, all of the press, everyone just jumps on their side simply because they can steal an election. And it's really, I, I go to foreign countries and ask for their help. I go to the United Nations. I go, you know, I, I went to Europe. I went to uh, London. I went to Rome, Paris. And how do you go over there and, and ask someone for help? How do you go over there and ask them to support you when someone in Pittsburgh has some kind of internet uh, program that can read your email, know where you're sending stuff, and as a press organization, does the dirty work of the United States government, especially the Oval Office, White House Office, whatever that accounting term was when I determined that 20 or 30 years ago, those people still will not leave me alone. They will not go away. They steal my intellectual property, which is my terms, my truths, my formulas, chemical whatever formulas, of truth that I have understood from my studying uh, by not going to their universities, but doing it on my own. Uh, and something like this just really is so low and dirty and I can't even believe it. I can't believe what they're doing to regain their deceitful um, advantage over their equal uh, free citizens according to their uh, insured, assured, uh, promised laws. And there's nothing you can do. The guy, Joe Biden, was asked to leave office more than nine times. And uh, he has such a situation there where you can't, there's no way to confirm uh, any claim like that. And they have such a grip on anything uh to communicate uh, between the people of the same types that uh, you're going, you, you can't leave the country. It's the passport thing, exactly what I said. Uh, immigration and the passport, uh, you can't go anywhere. You, you, the country is a prison. And you are going to pay taxes. And that's all it is. It's Adolf Hitler's workforce uh, in such a deceitful manner that there's no way you could even assert such a thing uh, because uh, there's just so many people here that they don't care what you say. There's too many people that can uh, accomplish what they want, that whoever disagrees and uh, makes a stand is a crazy person. That person is uh, a dirty uh, person where the police do all the dirty work to run the homeless into the dirt. Um, when the homeless are trying to uh, show 
that they do not want to be involved in the economic system that's illegal, the police turn them into dirty um, reprobates, dirty uh, outcasts of a society that willingly complies uh, with the exploitation of deceitful dictators. And if you say anything like that, uh, what's going to happen to your YouTube channel? So, um, here's, here's my speech uh, pattern. Uh, and here's my sister and my cousin next door who his father murdered my great aunt and stole her house. And they're still over there. And the police still aren't doing anything about it. Uh, it's been reported to them for 30 or 40 years, 50 years. They pointed it out to the police. And because that man resembled so much President Jimmy Carter, uh, he got his way somehow. I don't know. Maybe that was some kind of plan of Dan Rather to educate me when I was eight or nine years old. And it was just going to sit there. But here is the Yucca Mountain that is in my way. And I really, really, it gets on my nerves so bad that, uh, what am I supposed to do? So that's the situation. And hopefully maybe uh, you can continue to understand it. Okay.